Hey, Scott, uh, we have some breaking news right now. Uh, the new CEO of Starbucks has just been announced, Lotsman Narasimhan. He, of course, is the uh, former CEO just stepping down earlier today from uh, Reckitt Benkiser. Of course, uh, they're the conglomerate that makes Lysol disinfectants and Durex condoms uh, and other things. He stepped down today. Uh, lots of speculation about where he was going to be going saying that he was hoping to take a job in the United States. Well, we can now tell you that job in the United States is to become the CEO of Starbucks. He will begin as the CEO in uh, April of 2023. He's going to spend the next several months, we understand, uh, under the tutelage and working with Howard Schultz, of course, who's now the interim CEO of the company, who had come back uh, to the company uh, just last year. Uh, to try to turn it around. He's put a number of uh, steps in place to begin that turnaround process, um, and uh, now we'll be handing off the company uh, next year uh, to Loxman uh, to take on that role. Our understanding is that Howard Schultz will remain an advisor to him and uh, a board member at Starbucks as well. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, Scott, on Loxman's history, uh, spent a long time as a consultant uh, at McKenzie and Company, where he was a senior partner working in all sorts of industries for many, many years. Uh, then in 2012, he moved to PepsiCo, where he rose to the ranks and uh, worked uh, for operations in Latin America, Europe, uh, also there in Africa. He was a commercial officer before going to Reckitt, where he's been praised, if you really look at uh, what's happened to that stock over the years. Of course, as I said, today it went down. Uh, but that was in large part because he was stepping down, and now we know uh, where he is landing at perhaps the most iconic American uh, coffee giant in the world. Let me ask you, lastly, I mean, you mentioned uh, Schultz is uh, going to stay on as an advisor, I think was the word, Andrew, that you used. Is this, is this officially the beginning of the end of, of Howard Schultz having uh, anything uh, of critical importance to do? with Starbucks once this transition is complete? Um, you know, I, I think that that is clearly the intent. Uh, having said that, just for context, as you know so well, Scott, uh, covering Starbucks over all these years, uh, Howard Schultz has stepped down before to name a replacement uh, only to return to the company. This is, uh, they have named now uh, two different CEOs, and in, in both instances, he did come back. Uh, to take over. Uh, I don't believe his intent uh, is to come back again. Um, I think they're hoping that this sticks and this works um, and that um, he is going to take on uh, the challenges that this company now confronts, of course, the biggest probably being this issue of uh, the labor movement uh, and unionization effort that's taking place at Starbucks. That's probably going to be job one. Uh, they're mm -hmm. also, of course, grappling like everybody else is uh, with inflation and their biggest growth market, which is China, uh, still suffering from that lockdown. I knew it was kind of a loaded question when I asked you, uh, but I appreciate your answer nonetheless. Andrew, and the reporting, of course, as well. We'll get much more, I'm sure, from you in the days ahead. That's Andrew Ross Sorkin joining us there with the breaking news of the new Starbucks uh, CEO.